Whether it's protecting our shorelines, patrolling our harbors, ports, and federally controlled lakes and rivers, or oil spill containment, this GSA Schedule 84 has all types of marine craft, equipment, and services to meet the needs of the federal buyer. This GSA schedule can provide equipment and services for personal, vehicular, or facility applications for all of the federal government's law enforcement protection needs, prevention, apprehension, or investigation needs. If you're a business that does any of these things, this video is made for you. Today, we will be reviewing GSA Schedule 84 called the Total Solutions for Law Enforcement Security Facilities Management Fire Rescue Clothing Marine Craft and Emergency Disaster Response. This video will cover very quickly the categories in GSA Schedule 84, the last three years of spending in GSA Schedule 84. We will cover the basic requirements to obtain the GSA Schedule 84. We'll figure out what the risks of obtaining uh, the five-year schedule are. And finally, we will discuss the only 100% risk-free way to pursue a GSA contract. Before we get started, we'll do a very quick plug for our sponsor, DB Consulting Group. Uh, they are a full-service GSA document preparation company. The only company in the nation to offer a 100% money-back guarantee on their services. They do offer a free GSA readiness assessment by a trained GSA specialist. They are Better Business Bureau accredited, and they have plenty of references available. To learn more about DB Consulting Group, just visit www.dbgovgroup.com or call 877-935-4408. Let's review Schedule 84 categories. We'll start out on Google, and we're just going to type in GSA eLibrary and that's going to take us to the very first search result will be gsaelibrary.gsa.gov and it's important to note as we get started on this uh, review that this website is not meant for average everyday web users or business owners this is meant for federal agencies um, specifically for federal buyers um, this is the search uh, method that they use, or the search engine, I should say, that they use when they're trying to find vendors uh, who can fulfill their needs. So if I'm a federal buyer and I'm looking for anything in emergency disaster response, well, there's a lot of different ways that I could find it. I could simply go to the quick search up here in the top right-hand side and click on 84 and uh, I happen to know that is the shortest way to find it. Um, and we're going to do a very quick review of these categories here. Uh, the, what you have here is 114 different categories, or what the GSA actually calls SINs, which stands for Special Item Number. So anytime you see the term SIN or the phrase SIN, that stands for uh, Special Item Number. And you have across all of these subcategories, you have roughly 1,500 or so vendors that are in these categories. In fiscal year 2013, the federal government funneled roughly $2.021 billion through just this one GSA schedule. Uh, the first few categories are very broad categories like smart building systems integrator, but you also have uh, security and alarm signals and, and others. Um, now, as we scroll, you have law enforcement there. I don't want to miss that one. Armored vehicles, radiation, nuclear, material detection equipment, law enforcement training, security training, professional law enforcement services. This would include things like fingerprinting, handwriting analysis, breath analysis, etc. Uh, firefighting services, much more. Uh, when we go down to this major subcategory, you've got alarm and signal systems. Uh, this would include all, all, all of your access control, your... Um, uh, for example, biometric doors, uh, voice, fingerprint, iris, uh, hand geometry, weight controls, that, that type of thing. Uh, that would also include the installation of those systems and the management, uh, the ongoing management and maintenance of those systems as well. You have alarm and signal systems, same thing, perimeter, security uh, detection systems, which does include uh, fencing and sensor sensors, includes all the installation of those systems. Uh, if you scroll down, you got firefighting and rescue equipment urban and wildland this was would include all your hoses and valves by the way it's very very important to note here gsa has a very unique feature on the schedule 84 the local preparedness acquisition act which was put into uh place in 2008 
authorizes your state and local governments to purchase from GSA from from the vendors in the schedule. So in other words, your fire departments, your police departments, the things they're not necessarily governed by the federal government. Nonetheless, the the federal government gives those agencies at the local level the ability to leverage the buying power and the speed of the GSA schedule program uh, even at the local level. So that's very important and that's one of the reasons why you see so much more spending going through GSA schedule 84 because because there are just so many more prospective uh, customers when you can dip down to the uh, local level. If you're in any of these categories, it just makes no sense not to have a GSA contract. Now, as we scroll down, you'll see also law enforcement, security equipment, supplies and services. You've got canine training stuff, helmets, body armor. Again, I'm not going to read through them all. You can perhaps pause uh, every so often to see all these different categories, or better yet, pick up the phone and call a GSA specialist at DB Consulting Group, and they'll take you directly. As a matter of fact, when you do that, um, uh, for example, let's say you were a vendor out there and you sold, uh, say, extreme cold weather clothing like coats and jackets, and you wanted to know who the other vendors were in that category. Again, there's 1,502 vendors across all of these categories. You wanted to see who are the vendors in 633-22 here. And uh, well, that's easy. We can click on that number and that will open up and show us that there are 51 contractors and we can even go deeper than that. If you say then, uh, we recognize uh, this group here, Amron International out of Vista, California, we want to see what what does uh, Amron actually sell in GSA 84 under the extreme cold weather. We want to see their catalog and what they charge for what they sell. Okay, we can do that. We simply click on GSA Advantage, which opens up this particular vendor's online federal catalog. And this is not a catalog that you or me can buy out of. This catalog is only for federal buyers. And every approved vendor in the GSA program is allowed to put their product lineup in this inside of the GSA Advantage system. And uh, going back to our uh, all of our categories, we'll continue to scroll down. You'll see structural firefighting stuff, wildland firefighting. Let's move over and review the spending over the last three years that's taken place in the GSA Schedule 84. As you can see, Schedule 84 spending has been significant. In 2010, the General Services Administration funneled $2.7 billion through the GSA schedule. In fiscal year 2011, 2.6 billion, then it went to 2.4 billion, and in fiscal year 2013, after a sequestration, we still saw Schedule 84 funnel more than $2 billion through its vendors. Now let's move on to the requirements to obtain the five-year GSA schedule. The requirements to win a GSA schedule vary from one schedule to the next, but the basic requirements are the same across just about every schedule. They are. You must be in business for two years with the same tax ID number. You must be able to report at least a minimum of $25,000 in sales in each of the last two years. You must not currently be on the excluded parties list, which simply means that you have not been banned from federal contracting for any cause. And of course, you must make sure that your proposal covers what we call here the five C's, capability. You have to be able to prove your company has the financial stability and resources, the availability of staff to take on the extra work and marketing responsibilities, and staffing expertise to handle the level of expected quality that the GSA and federal clients have come to expect and will expect from you. Competition. The company's pricing and level of quality service and or products are equal to or better than the other contractors in the targeted schedule or SIN category. Coverage. The company offers a thorough representation of services and or products defined in the targeted schedule SIN category, and they can enhance the market for said services and or products in the geographic area that they are able and willing to serve. Compliance. The company complies or at least has the ability to comply with the business they will conduct with federal clients with all applicable laws and regulations that GSA requires. And finally, confirmation. The company must be able to provide proof of all the purported details the above categories demand. We thank you for giving us an opportunity to share more details about GSA Schedule 84, and we ask that you let DB Consulting Group assist you. We do all the work to get you on GSA Schedule, we do it for less than our competitors, and we offer the only money-back guarantee in the nation. We invite you to grab a complimentary copy of our online ebook 
called How GSA Contracts Work. You can reach us at www.dbgovgroup.com. We look forward to talking to you soon.